Today we're going to be talking about optimization with linear programming. And I want you to have these four definitions in your notes. So linear programming is a method of finding a max or min value of a function that satisfies a set of inequalities. You have constraints, which are our inequalities that we're going to be graphing. You have a feasible region, a region that's going to be bounded by our inequalities. And then you have an objective function, and that's going to maximize or minimize the vertices from our feasible region. So here you have an example of feasible regions. So you have your constraints, the lines that are going to bound your area. The feasible region is the shaded region. Sometimes it's going to be bounded, sometimes it's going to be unbounded. And what we're going to do is we're going to find these intersection points and we're going to plug them into our objective function. Okay. And then we're going to figure out whether or not we have a max or a min. Okay, so our first example, graph the following system of inequalities, name the coordinates of the vertices, and find the maximum or minimum values. So x is less than or equal to 5. So we graph the line x equals 5, which is a straight vertical line. That's this one. Then we have y is less than or equal to 4. And then we have our last one. Let's solve this for y. And we have a negative sloping line. So we plot our points. And then we draw in our line. Now let's think about this. Where are we shading? For the red line, we're shading less than. For the blue line, we're shading less than. But for the green line, we're shading greater than. So our feasible region is everything in here. Now what we have to do is we have to find the vertices of our bounded region. So one of them is 5, 4, Another one here, this is negative 2, positive 4. And then we have our last one here, which that one is 5 and negative 3. Now what you have to do is you have to plug these into our objective function. This function right here. That's our objective function. And I want you to show me the plugging in. So I want you to show me the 3 times the 5 minus the 2 times the 4. And then I simplify that and I get positive 7. 3 times a negative 2, two minus a 2 times by a 4. For this one, we get negative 14. And then I plug in 5, 3. So I have 3 times 5 minus 2 times by negative 3. And that's going to be 21. So we have to think about this. What's our minimum? The minimum is the smallest value. The minimum of those four values is negative 14 at the point negative 2, 4. Our max of what's the largest of the numbers, 21, at the point 5, negative 3.
Okay, our next example. A little bit more complicated of equations. So the top equation I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to add the x over so we get 2y less than or equal to x plus 2. I divide by 2. So positive 1 up 1 over 2. All right, there's our line. And for that one, we're going to be shading below. The next one, solve that for y. So I have negative 2y less than or equal to negative x plus 4. And then I have to divide by negative 2. Don't forget to switch your sign. So I have a y is greater than, so negative 2. Convenient that it's the same slope. I wonder what that could mean. Okay, so realize for the red one, we're shading below. The blue line, we're greater than we're shading above. Now let's look at our last equation. Solving that for y, we get y greater than or equal to negative x minus 2. So negative x, negative sloping line. we get something that looks like that. And for this one, we're going to be shading above. So we're shading in between our two parallel lines and above this line. So that is this whole region here. And that region's unbounded because I don't have another line that comes and bounds it. So we have an unbounded region. Let's look at what our vertices are. One of our vertices is negative 2, 0. The other one is 0, negative 2. So when I plug those into our equation, into our objective function, which is this 2x plus 3y, we have 2 times by a negative 2 plus a 3 times a 0. That's equal to negative 4. Now I plug in the other one, and we get that's a negative 2 I'm plugging in, we get a negative 6. So we know that this is going to get us a min value of negative 6 at the point 0, negative 2. Now think about it. If I'm plugging in any point up here, as I plug in any of these points, say this point here that is 10, 4, if I plug in 10, 4, or anything in this shaded region, that's going to get me a number that's even bigger. So there's no max value because we're unbounded. Okay, linear, prob linear programming applications. And please write down these steps. These steps are super important. We're going to define our variables, write a system of inequalities, and graph that system. We're going to find the coordinates of the vertices of our feasible region. We're going to write a linear function that's going to be maximized or minimized. We're going to substitute the coordinates into our function, and then select the greatest or least result. Okay, so our first example, and take a minute to read through that. A landscaping company has two crews who mow lawns and prune shrubbery. The company schedules one hour for mowing jobs and three hours for pruning jobs. So one hour for mowing jobs, three hours for pruning jobs. 
Each crew is scheduled for no more than two pruning jobs per day. And each crew schedule is set up for a maximum of nine hours per day. Okay. Now, on average, the charge for mowing a lawn is $40 and charge for pruning shrubbery is $120. Find the combination of mowing lawns and pruning shrubs that will maximize the income the company receives per day from one of its crews. So I want to maximize, I'm trying to maximize the income of what two services. One of our services is going to be mowing lawns. The other one is going to be pruning our shrubbery. So that gets you your two variables. Now a system of inequalities. And as I was reading it, I kind of highlighted a few things for you guys. One hour for mowing and three hours for pruning and a nine hour day. So one X plus three Y that's going to be less than or equal to nine hours per day. They also tell me each crew is scheduled for no more than two pruning jobs each day. That's all they can do. So pruning Y has to be less than or equal to two. But think about it, Y also has to be greater than or equal to zero. And same thing with our mowing, greater than or equal to zero. You're typically going to have X's and Y's greater than zero. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, the piece that I haven't used yet is the $40 for mowing the lawn and $120 for the shrubbery. That's what I'm maximizing. So that's going to help us get our objective function. Our objective function, or what's being maximized or minimized, is 40x plus 120y. And that's going to be our objective function. OK, now we need to graph. So graphing our system. Remember that we had y was between 0 and 2. So I have y equals 0, which is our x-axis, and y equals 2. So technically, we'd be shading in between those. We had x's greater than or equal to 0. So that was our, that's x equals 0 is our y-axis. And then we also had the equation of x plus 3y less than or equal to 9. So if I solve this for y, we have that equation. where for this equation, we are shading below. So this is our shaded region. So find the coordinates. 0, 0 is always going to be a coordinate. We have this point up there, which is 0, 2. We had the point that was 3, 2. And then we have this x-intercept over here, which is 9, 0. <laughs> Write a linear function that is to be maximized or minimized. And I kind of already talked about that. Since they talked about maximizing profit, we maximize our profit with going with the price for the mowing of the lawn plus the price for our shrubbery. Now substitute the coordinates. So find f of each one of the coordinates we just found. So 9, 0, and I want you to show me the plugging in.
we don't bother plugging in 0, 0, um, because that would result in this equation being 0. So remember, I was looking for our maximum profit. To figure out the maximum profit, which one of these numbers is the largest? Well, we actually have two answers. So we have either 9, remember x was mowing, and 0 pruning. Or 3 mowing and 2 pruning for a profit <clears throat> of $360. Okay, there are your lesson questions for the day. Please make sure that one lesson question is submitted on time.